In this video, I want to show you the difference between getting a good catch, what we'd often consider a high elbow position, compared to a, a poor catch, which would consider a dropped elbow. Now in this, this comparison here, I wanna talk about one specific aspect of it, which is if you look at someone getting a good catch, they're often bending their elbow around about this point when the fingers are pointing down, but you'll also notice that the upper arm is up around about here. And it's almost in line with the shoulders. So the upper arm, the shoulders, roughly aligned, roughly straight at the point where they finish their catch, which is there. Now on the right hand side, you'll see that this catch here, it's not quite as good as the other one. Now the reason it's not quite as good is because if we were looking side on, it would be more of a dropped elbow position, which you can see here. But you'll also notice, okay, he's got the shoulders, got the arms a little bit sort of down from that line. And plus, if we were looking at where the elbow is, it's, it's not necessarily pointing as well to the side. It's a little bit more sort of you know, down if we were looking side on there. So the difference between those, those two is the one on the right's a bit straighter, a little bit lower, but with a good catch, we will see that upper arm around here with that bend in the elbow happening rather than down, down low. So what I'm getting at here is that with a, with a good catch, in order to get the bend in the elbow, you might need to come out a little bit wider with your elbow and your upper arm through that initial part of the catch because you can see that this is lower with the upper arm, this is a bit wider. And so most people that I work with, if they're new to swimming, they're usually quite straight with the arms. So we just need to get used to some of that bend. So the way that you could practice that would be even like a, a catch up freestyle drill catching up out the front, and you can just practice coming out to the side a bit more with the elbow. Almost feel as though it's going to point off to the side a bit through that first part to set up your catch rather than maybe pointing down. Because day to day, there's probably nothing that you're actually doing that's similar to that sort of catch movement. So that can be a good way to just practice that better catch is thinking wider with the elbow to set yourself up. If you haven't done our five day catch challenge, I'll put a link below. We've had more than 6,000 people go through this course. And the promise with this course is you will take five seconds off your 100 time over five days. And uh, we've had a lot of success with this program. People have really improved dramatically. So I'll put a link below if you think your catch is something that you need to improve.